hope you are doing well. My name is Veronica Mwangi and I'm born again. I am your teacher mm -hmm, from ACK St. Mark's Westlands and I'm so, so happy that today I'm joining you for a wonderful, wonderful lesson. But before we do that, we're going to pray. Let's pray. Almighty everlasting Father, we thank you for this beautiful, beautiful day that you have given us. It's another day that you have given us. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Even as we get to learn your word, Lord, about forgiveness, I pray that indeed may you open our eyes, the eyes of our hearts, so that we may be able, able, may be able to understand each and everything that we learn. And we pray that we shall put it into practice. In all this, we pray trusting, believing in your holy name. Amen. Indeed, boys and girls, how are you? Karibuni sana. Make sure you welcome your brother, your sister, your mommy, your daddy, your auntie, your neighbors, and make sure you have your Bible, you have a pen, and you have a notebook because today we're going to learn a good lesson about forgiveness. And before we do that, we're going to sing this song that says, what can wash away? So you know it? Yeah. So let's put our hands together. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow no other fount i know nothing but the blood of jesus and what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus and what can make me whole again Nothing but the blood of Jesus. No precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. And no other font I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let's clap our hands. Jesus loves you and me and all of us. Now you can have your seat and let's keep on as we get to see the story about today as we learn about forgiveness. So, boys and girls, what is forgiveness? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I will tell your mommy what is forgiveness. What is your brother telling you? Yeah. Forgiveness is when you are not angry, okay? When you, you get to choose that you no longer be angry and you forgive the person who have angered you. So, so, and we are going to see the story, an amazing parable from the book of Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 all the way to 35. Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 all the way to 35. And Jesus used to use parables as a way of teaching the disciples and the people who are around about what is the kingdom of God. And in this instant, as we see from the book of Matthew, there were, it is a story about a servant. And um, Peter, Peter came and asked, asked Jesus, Jesus, how many times should I forgive? Mm -hmm. uh, Peter said again, Jesus, how many times should I forgive? It should, be, should it be seven times? And Jesus was like, mm, 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 mm. no, 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 no. You should forgive 77 times. Those are many. Can we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, up to 60, up to 65, 70, 77 times. Imagine how many times do you forgive a person? It's, those are so many times, so they are, we, can, we can no longer count them because they are too many. And often, people get us angry. And how, 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 uh, what are the, some of the times people get us angry? Imagine your brother took your toy and smashed your toy, and your toy is no longer functioning. And you are like, <gasps> Mommy, Mommy! 
me. My brother broke my toy. I'm not going to talk to him. And you're angry. But what does Jesus say? Forgive. Another instant is, imagine you are in Sunday school at ACK St. Mark's and you're there on the swing. And you're swinging on the swing and somebody pushes you and you fall down and you hurt your arms, your legs, and you have mud all over you. And you're angry and you're like, mm, I'm not going to forgive her. She pushed me from the swing. But what should you do? You forgive. Because forgiveness is very, very important. And we continue with the story in the Bible of what happened with this parable. So, Jesus continued and said that the kingdom of God is like this. A servant had debt. Debt, it's like when you borrow, like for example, it's when you have, like you borrow money and you have not, you have, you have borrowed money and you have not paid it back. And he had and other, he had a family, he had a wife, and other house, he had even some cattle and so many other things. But the, when, when the, the master came, he asked, where are my debts? And the servant didn't have the money to repay back. So this is what the master said. Go and take everything in that house, including the children, including the wife, and sell them. But the servant begged the master, 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 please forgive me. Hmm. And the master thought, hmm, yeah, I should forgive him. So the master said, do not take the wife, do not take all the property, do not take the children, but forgive him. And he told the servant, go. And all his debts were forgiven. Imagine he owed the master maybe, say, one million shillings. See, that's a lot of money. But the master said, okay, don't worry, I'll forgive you. But then, after the servant went out there, he met another person that he had owed money. Instead of forgiving him, do you know what the servant did? He said, bring back my money, bring back my things, bring back my, you have debt, bring back my money. And he forgot that he had been forgiven by the master. So the, the people who are around this servant went back to the master and they then and they then and they said, master, do you know what? The servant you forgave, he has gone and asked of his the debt from the other person who owed him. And the master was like, hmm, oh, so that's what he did. After I forgave him all his debts, he went to, to the person who owed him and asked for the debt when in, instead of forgiving, and he said, go and take him. And he was taken and put in prison. So he did not practice what the master had done. The master forgave him. But the servant did, for, did not forgive the person who owed him the money. So what does that mean? When you are forgiven, you should forgive other people too. For example, we sang the song, What can wash away my sins? It's only the blood of Jesus. Christ Jesus forgave our sins. If Christ forgave us, so boy and girl, what should you do? Mm-hmm. Yes, you should forgive other people too. Is it easy? Is it easy? No. But we ask Jesus to help us to be able to forgive other people. Don't be like that servant who did not forgive the man who owed him money. Because imagine the master forgave the, all the other debts, but for him he was like, give me back my money. No. You should forgive children who have wronged you in school. You should forgive your brothers and sisters. You should forgive your auntie who maybe who has wronged you. You should also even forgive the boys and the girls in Sunday school. You should forgive those people you meet in the, in the neighborhood who have wronged you. Please forgive them. Because Christ forgave us the same way we should forgive others. And, and especially at this time, we know what we are heading to. August is a good month. Mm-hmm. Elections have happened, all it's happening, and you have heard so many stories, but don't hate your neighbor. If anyone has, has, uh, has uh, 
stamp on your feet or somebody has said a bad word to you, forgive them. Because Christ says, forgive. Yeah. So, forgive how many times? 77 times. There are so many, many times. So we cannot exhaust them. Boys and girls, remember this. Christ forgave us. Let's forgive one another. And when we, it's so hard for us to forgive one another, let's always go before the Lord and ask Jesus. Jesus, please help me to forgive those who have wronged us because it's not easy. But indeed, God is powerful to help me and you to forgive those who have wronged us. And we shall go to our memory verse today. And our memory verse comes from the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Hello, my name is Emma Keegan. Our memory verse comes from Ephesians 4, 32. It says, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just the way Christ God forgave you. Thank you. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ forgave you. Let's repeat again slowly. Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgive each other just as Christ forgave you. Ephesians chapter 4, 32. I pray that you be blessed and you have a wonderful time and let's keep forgiving each other. And let's pray. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Bye-bye. Keep forgiving. Ciao.